Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to the world of home automation with me, your host, Paul Hibbert. Today we're going to be learning how to do this. <laughs> Alexa, what is a Nest thermostat? Sorry, I can't find the answer to the question I heard. Alexa, ask Google what is a Nest thermostat. Nest Labs is a home automation producer of programmable, self-learning, sensor-driven, Wi-Fi-enabled thermostats. Now I know that some of you have seen this guide on Facebook already and have responded with outcry. I don't want to give my credit card to people on the internet, you say. And uh, of course you're giving your credit card to Amazon, who I imagine you've given your credit card to before. Um, so if you imagine Amazon is this great, big, enormous machine, um, and you've got a smaller bit of Amazon over here that is the developer portal, and they are the people that now need your credit card. This is exactly the same as giving your credit card to the hotel when you first check in to say, I'm not going to use the minibar. Uh, so the idea is that you are giving your credit card to them with the possibility you might sell your application to other people. Uh, you're creating an application for you and you alone, and you're never going to sell it, and therefore your credit card is never going to get billed, I promise. Um, so without further ado, let's get started. So those of you that saw my last tutorial will remember there were quite a lot of pieces of the puzzle to put together. This time around, we don't need to configure our PC for Kodi. And so that's out of the equation. We no longer need to configure port forwarding on our router because we're not sending packets across our internal network anymore. We're only controlling the Amazon Echo Dot using the Amazon Echo Dot. And so the only services we need to set up are Amazon Web Services and the Alexa Skills Kit. This is so when we say, Alexa, ask Google what is the best home automation channel on the internet. She will first of all know how to interpret the question and also how to answer the question. And the answer, of course, will be Hibbert's home automation. If yours doesn't answer with this, then, well, it's just broken. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go visit this clever guy's uh, coding address. Tartan Guru is the guy that made this code, not me. So we're going to go to github.com forward slash Tartan Guru forward slash Alexa hyphen Google hyphen search. And then going to click clone or download and then download zip. And then I'm going to go to show in folder. I'm going to take his zip file and I'm going to take it from here and I'm going to put it into a folder on my desktop so I know where it is. Okay, you now need to unzip this, so extract here. And I've now got a folder which has been extracted from my zip file and that's the download of his files completed. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to visit aws.amazon.com. Uh, this is where you will need to sign up for an Amazon Web Services account with a credit card. Um, if you don't have one already, if you've got one already, you just sign into the console. Sign in using Secure Server. And we're going to uh, go to Services. I'm going to search in here for Lambda. And load that up. We're going to create a Lambda function. And the first thing we're going to do is go to Configure Triggers, select this, and say it's the Alexa Skills Kit that is going to configure Lambda. Next. My function name, we're just going to call Google, lowercase letters. Runtime leave as node.js 4.3. Code entry type is upload a zip file. And choose the upload button. Now this is really important. So find the location of the file. So Alexa Google is where I stored it. Don't upload this. Don't upload the zip file that you downloaded. Go into the files that you extracted into source and then upload the archive zip file that's in there. So don't make that mistake because it won't work. So if you scroll down to Lambda Function Handler and Role and then choose Role and then go to Create a New Role from Template and to the role name in lowercase letters, Lambda underscore basic underscore execution under advanced settings choose the timeout as 10 seconds and scroll down and press next and scroll down again and click create function okay you now need to copy this ARN here and put it on a notepad file somewhere so you can access it later on because you're going to need it in the next steps Okay, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to developer.amazon.com. Again, you'll need to sign up here. It may or may not ask you for a credit card again. Uh, and once again, it's not going to charge you credit card. Don't worry. 
I'm going to sign in because I already have an account here. Uh, and I'm going to go to Alexa. I'm going to click Get Started under Alexa Skills Kit. So I'm going to click Add a New Skill. And I'm going to choose English UK because that's where I am. In the name, I'm going to call it Google. And the invocation name, it has to be lowercase letters, just Google. Press Next. And the intent schema, I'll put in the description for you. Um, you just paste it in from my description on my video into the intent schema section here. And then click Add Slot Type. In the type, enter search in capital letters and enter the following values. Who is the queen? And then enter. And why is the sky blue? And then press save. In the sample utterances box, again, this will be in the description, but uh, just type in search intent and then a space and then these curly brackets, search curly brackets. Um, so again, this will be in the description field. I'd recommend just pasting that from my video and then press next. Select your endpoint, AWS Lander ARN Amazon resource name. Select your geograph geographical location. So for me, it's Europe. And this is where we're going to paste in the thing that we copied to our notepad. Leave this dotted as no and press next. So once the interaction model is finished building, I'll be able to enable the skill uh, and then we can enable the skill in the Alexa app on the phone. I've now enabled that skill. I'm just going to leave everything as it is and press next. Leave everything it is and press next and then press save. Does this skill allow users to make money? No. Does this skill allow? No. Is this skill directed? No. And then blah, blah, blah. Yes. Save. So that's our skill successfully created on the Amazon uh, developer portal. And now all we need to do is enable it in our application on our phone. Okay, so all we have to do to enable it in the app is go to the Alexa application. Click the menu button on the left, go to skills, click on your skills, and there's the Google app that we've just created. So it looks like the skill is already enabled. If it's not, you can just press the enable button. And that has now enabled the skill on my Amazon Echo Dot. And so now we can test it. Alexa, ask Google what is a tinfoil hat for? A tin foil hat is a hat made from one or more sheets of aluminium foil, or a piece of conventional headgear lined with foil, worn in the belief or hope that it shields the brain from threats such as electromagnetic fields, mind control, and mind reading. If you found this video useful or entertaining, then please uh, consider giving me a like uh, and subscribe if you'd like to see more of this sort of content. Thank you and I'll see you next time.